I'm not a particularly inventive person. But what I am is I'm, I'm this unbelievably curious person. I'm curious about everything. Textures and smells and tastes and rocks and seashells and discarded babies. And every little thing I've got laying around has some kind of significance to me. I think for me, the process is accumulating all of this visual evidence of things that are of interest to me that bring me joy or bring me pain. I collect those things in my head and, and then when I sit down, they come out. The hard part is how trusting can you be in what wants to come out. This is very serious business. I mean, I have a lot of fun at it. Don't get me wrong. I, I have been playing for most of my life. But it's very serious stuff. I think sometimes some things I do make people uncomfortable. How do you talk about the darker sides of existence in a way that they can become beautiful also. When I know I've been successful is when that piece of art I'm making says more to me than just what I did to it. That somewhere along the way, a transformation takes place. When I was a child, I spent a period of time when I was quite ill, restrained to a bedroom with the windows drawn and couldn't move and I couldn't do much of anything. But my stepfather used to come in and draw pictures for me. And I just always admired that ability of a person to put something on a piece of paper. So I started doing that and I really enjoyed that process. When it came time to go to the university, that's what I decided to do, study art. I had to learn how to master drawing the figure. I had to learn how to master watercolors. I had to learn how to master oil paint because we were gonna go out there and have to perform for other people and make art for them. And I realized the one thing I did not want to do is make art for other people. It just, that idea just, didn't interest me. I wanted to make art about things that interested me. And that's when I got involved in thinking about teaching as a way of supporting that ability to make things that I wanted to make without compromise. You know, I've run two different printmaking programs, two different schools. I've always believed this. And that is, if I was not learning something, I could not be teaching something. If you could teach somebody to enjoy the finding of things, then you've succeeded. One of the things I used to tell my students when they would show me something, you know, it's finished or whatever, and I would ask them, I'd say, does this piece of art say everything it has to say.